Hello everyone, I'm Herr Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here with Germany. So last time, we had a great time with the French, and now they are our rightful puppet. So, right now we're still at war, of course, with the Italians, or the Novus Imperium Romanum faction. Now, someone might have said or a few days ago, or maybe yesterday, or whatever, really, um, that... Maybe the peace deal was maybe a little biased. Maybe it was. But, of course, I do take into account... Uh, what this war will produce as well. Okay. I don't remember asking if you wanted to join our faction. But you know what? The more, the merrier. Especially if you believe in democracy. So, regardless, with this war with Italy and Bulgaria, which, ha which has already capitulated... Oh, actually, they're allied with us. I don't want to go to war with Japan still. I see no point to go fight them. Um, Italy? Are you okay? Okay, well, you know, whatever. Regardless, I was going to give most of Italy to the common turn anyways. Just because I took all of France, Austria, and Hungary. So, I did want to lay that out there. I'll let you know that uh, pretty much all of Italy is going to go to the common turn, if not all of it, so... Um, right now, I'm trying to get to the border here, obviously, and Italy has pulled a Germany, a normal vanilla Germany move. Just go to war with every, everyone, which probably isn't in the best, which isn't the best idea, but whatever, you know. You know what, I'm not even going to set my tanks down here, because it looks like the Soviets are doing as well as they can, and I'm not going to get too much of a reward out of this, so I'm going to pull my tanks back up. You know what, come up here. The Americans are going to get involved, and... The Soviets, they're doing a good enough job anyways, so it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, that being said, I will, you know, that pretty much all of Italy's holdings will go to Republican Spain. They will be the masters of Italian colonies. Uh, sure, yeah, come on. Come on in, guys. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much my goal, so. Uh, El Salvador. Come on, guys. Come on. Be a little bit more realistic. Anyways, I will let Yugoslavia and the Soviet Union try to kill off Italy. I see no real reason for us to get involved too much, so... No, 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 no. That's okay, guys. That's okay. Also, I do want to let you know why. Or why I puppeted France instead of just straight up annexing them. Because... I didn't know this earlier, but it says it's always false when you want to change autonomy levels. I will either have to use a mod or console commands probably to annex... France or Hungary, but you know what? Because they're already our puppets, and we are pushing to integrate France and Hungary truly into a democratic thing called the European Union. If we're trying to integrate them, I should just be able to annex them and form the EU. So I think using console commands is fairly justified just because of the end goal that we're trying to achieve. That being said, I will probably have to use the console commands, if not a mod, which actually I have a mod mod to use planned already to go to war with Belgium if needed, or just annex them, as well as the Netherlands, so. Okay, Venezuela, well, hello. Um, so, I just want to let you know what my plans kind of are. Um, do that. So, just because, unfortunately for us, to form the EU, we need to control all of Dutch, Luxembourg, and Belgian lands. Now, obviously, the French lands are under us. Like, that doesn't make sense why we couldn't annex them. For Italy, we'll have to kill Italy. Like, once it be turned communist, basically, so. Yep. What happens, happens. That's pretty much the best way I can put it. So, anyways. Uh, the, another reason why I didn't want to annex France. Actually, two reasons. I might be able to make divisions using their manpower. Which would be very, very, very important. Um, I could make divisions out of Dutch East Indies, but they have to come through the ocean... Oh, actually, maybe not. Actually, if I copy one of these templates, where would that end up? What if I wanted to copy you? Alright. Train. Where would you be set? Yeah, you wouldn't be even be set there. If anything, you'd be set all the way over there, and that's a waste of time to be deployed right there. So, there's no point doing that. Good. Good. Uh, I am a little concerned that I can't make any French divisions with these guys, but... The second thing, the second reason why I wanted a French puppet, also I did uh, take Alsace Lorraine properly and core it like a good German, um, a good democratic German, 
is that I wanted to see if we could use the French Navy. The French Navy still kind of exists. It's still not super strong. But 134 ships with carriers? Yeah, how many... This is their, their, you know, their main fleet. Five battleships, seven heavy cruisers, four light cruisers, and 44 destroyers. Well, it's not, like, extremely impressive. And they have a proper task force here with a carrier and four screens. That's better than what I have. So, if I have to get into any sort of naval engagements with the French Navy, we might be able to use them properly. Cool. The representative Dominican Republic wants to move through our territory. Fine with me. We have to prepare for the bear. And the Poles. And the Yugoslavians. And, of course, the Italians and the Spanish. So, honestly, this will be fairly, I wouldn't say extremely balanced, but with the Soviet Union and Poland and Spain and Yugoslavia and Italy versus the Central European Alliance, that's not exactly unbalanced. So, uh, yeah. At least the Allies are in the war now, which would be good. If anything, I'll probably give them, they'll probably get Sicily. Whoa, what happened? Whoa, guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? You guys invaded. Where did the Allies come go? What the heck? Greece, you are doing your thingies. Alright, so be it. You guys, thank you for playing. Prepare yourselves. You know what, really, with this German focus stream, if you want to integrate the EU, I love the integrate war economies, which I think is important. Like, if you want to be democratic and actually create the EU, there should be, like, a program for us to do that. Because we are we have a Central European Alliance. It doesn't make any sense for us to not want to create the EU with the system already in place. I mean, I believe that, you know, once we went democratic or had our civil war, France goes a drastically different direction. And if Germany goes down the democratic path, they don't always have to form the EU, but it would be nice if there was a focus that lets you go down to create the EU by offering to integrate countries at a time, if they approve. If they approve. Because if you don't, you basically have to play as probably a communist or fascist take over everyone, then switch to democracy, and then form the EU. Which doesn't seem really smart. But that's okay. You know, it's it's paradox. Oh well. Uh, what do we need? I did mobilize more for more manpower last time. And what are we creating? We're creating nuclear reactors. We're creating civilian factories. And we're also creating a little bit of refineries and then some dockyards some military factories and stuff like that which would be important which is very very important uh yeah you guys can come on through uh i'm just really wanting to see the soviet union burn through its equipment and manpower the enemy of my enemy is sometimes my enemy and sometimes if you let them kill each other off it's completely okay completely okay wow you are on scraping the barrel ah <sighs> i love it what is that i've never played as yugoslavia never played as them now, I could attack here, but what would I gain except more dead men? For I'm not really going to help them too much. I mean, maybe I could throw on a plane or two, maybe help them out, I guess. If it would work out in our favor, do that. Um, do I have any good bombers? Oh, I've got some naval bombers. I like that. Throw you guys on here as well. Um, nice. Good. Three over here, and apparently the fighters didn't go to them. Give me 400. There you go. That should make things a little bit nicer. Come on. Deploy, please. Oh, you guys want military access? Uh, you know what? Sure, that's fine. I don't really care. I've got no beef with them. Alright, let them go through and split them up. Let these guys come on through and let them split up. Nice. Now, if I wanted to attack with infantry, that's probably a terrible, terrible idea. But we've got enough soldiers over here that we should be okay regardless. Uh, Infantry-wise, there's still only 19 combat width. Not a great template, but with all these support companies, it's not too bad. I don't mind helping them out just a little bit, you know. Don't want to take too much attrition, though. So let's do that. Send half you guys. Immediately move over. And look at, look at the stockpile of things that we currently have. That's not bad. Uh, what do we want? What do we want? In time, when we do form the EU, I will annex and integrate Hungary as well. I think that just would be just fair, because they are my puppet. I mean, 
voluntarily a part of our nation. Yes, voluntarily. Maybe we can just take... Uh, it's probably better to get you know what, to be honest with you. Uh, if we all attack here using infantry, this is a bad idea, but we should be able to win against two divisions with air superiority. Uh, sure, I will let you through, Philippines. I don't know why the Philippines is coming all the way to Europe, but sure. The Italians have lost over 3 million. The Soviets have lost over 3.6, almost 3.7 million, and that's beautiful. Uh, Yugoslavia has lost 365,000, so a man, a thousand men for in a single year. That'd be, that's very nice. Now, the Soviets, I don't know why. You couldn't push through the north, but you can push through the south. I don't know when you navally invaded, but this is nuts. Yeah, I'm... Hmm. The Italians don't really have much here. I might just give roads to, like, the allies, because the allies aren't really doing very much. Then again, I'm not doing very much either, so... Manage... License production. Huh. Well, whatever makes you stronger right now, Romania. And next up, we shall do... 1944 carrier holes. We have 302 factory nodes. Factories. Uh, you guys do this, except for you. Attack here. Attacking seven divisions, that's probably a really bad idea. Yeah, it looks like a really, really bad idea. Oh, well, it might not be a terrible idea, though. But we, we will incur a few losses here to there. And let's stop it. Yeah. There's no point. Just keep spreading out, guys. We have enough divisions over here with our allies at the moment that this is not a terrible idea yet. Ah, excavation 5. I almost said 6. I don't know where you can get excavation 6, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and grab better heart attack and piercing power. Let's see. Develop the Mats and oil fields? Sure, yeah. Loyal. Loyal? No, Lower Austria could use that. Do we need anything here? We're pretty good. We're pretty flush with everything. We're integrating war economies. We get like eight, maybe four more military factories, maybe. Uh, and we get Romania as a puppet, so... Democracy will win out in this scenario. Oh, they're attacking us right here. With tanks. And we can pierce them without having anti-tank. You can walk through. I'm not joining you. Mexico? Or... Yeah, uh, sure. Just prepare for the beast from the east. Oh, now the allies are doing something. You know what? We might see a very small allied Italy versus communist Italy with me just kind of sitting there guarding the border against them. That's probably what's going to happen. Is We can make for a really good encirclement if I had more divisions. And it looks like they're pulling divisions off the line, which is great for us. If anything, you guys could probably just attack right here. Um, attack slowly but carefully. Be careful. Do not be dumb. Do not pull a small brain maneuver or strategy. Van Wetzleben, you're doing all right. Just be smart. We will get Turin soon. Looks like the Allied invasion has not gone swimmingly. So be it. So be it. La Spezia? I mean, if we could take that, that'd be great. War score participation, we've only done 5%. We don't really deserve very much. Actually, since the Allies are in the war with Italy, I will give probably Ethiopia all this land to the Allies. That, that only makes sense. I'll probably give Republic of Spain Libya, because that would make more sense. The Allies have done very little. They've done even less than me. The Soviets deserve Italy, really. Uh, good. Good. Be careful with the tax. Just be careful. As much as I want you to get more experience, I must be concerned with how many men I am losing, which isn't very much. I mean, we've taken out... Over 600,000 Italians, but that's okay. Nice. We have finished integrate war economies. Good, good, good. And that is pretty much it for our focus tree, which I wish it was a little more in depth, to be honest with you. With going back to Waking the Tigers Germany DLC focus tree, if you go with democracy, it's a little bit less fulfilling, I guess I would say. Not much else. Um, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do some more construction engineering. In time, I will do some puppet suppression. Um, goodness, suppression, goodness. Ah, Romania accepts economic integration. They inform us that they accept a proposal for the integration of our war economies. They eagerly await our guidance so that they may model their military on our template of success. 
We had four more military military factories. They get four more military factories, and they are now our puppet. Their armies will swell under our tutelage. And of course, I'm not even going to read that one because Hungary is already our puppet, so. But they also become our puppet. Amazing. Beautiful. Come on. There you go. And you know what? To make sure that France doesn't get any smart ideas, I don't mind building... Oh. Um. You're my puppet, right? It's a supervised state. Need 40 to demote to that level. Need more political power. Why can't I build anything in your lands, France? This gives me the big confusion. Can democracy, democracies not build in allied lands? Oh, we can. Especially if they're puppets, so this doesn't make any sense. Oh, well. I guess that's just an added little thing that we must be aware of. Uh, build that up, too. That'll be good. And then one more thing. Let's see. What do we want? Honestly, this, is, this looks pretty good already. I do want to build up more dockyards because we need more ships. We definitely need more ships. Even though that's not really a huge priority, it's still important to do. We need more chromium. Guns are okay. Toad rocket artillery. Hmm. Nine breakthrough. And regular up, fully upgraded has eight breakthrough. You know what? I'll throw on maybe five, if possible. Chromium. At this point, I might just think of adding the Turks to the EU. Just because I want the Chromium, man. I doubt it, though. I doubt it. I'll actually do that. <sighs> Come on, Soviets. Come on, guys. Ah, America. Good. Defend my borders against Italians. Do Operation Torch successfully. As you can tell, I really don't care about Africa. But then again... A lot of people don't. What happens if we attack here? Do we win? Can we win? Probably not. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Do we have air superiority? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. More military factories? I mean, I guess just build... I want to say more super heavy tanks, but I need, I need capital ships. So don't build those. Heavy tank... Wait, heavy tank 2... Am I using those? I don't think I'm using that. These are all super heavy tanks. I don't have a single division of heavy tanks. That's a waste of its space. And here, we need some more mountaineers, so... Uh, nope, nope, nope. Get rid of that. That's a waste. I don't mind this. Super heavy artillery SP stuff. Fighters, aluminum, and rubber, which we have plenty of. So we'll do that. Let's do that. That sounds actually really good. Oh, man, we have so much rubber because reasons. I forget why. That'll be good. Don't do that because we need more tungsten anyways. Guns. Yep. Eh, go up to 30. But what would be important is do more fighters and more tactical bombers. Great job, guys. Uh, if you can, just go ahead and start moving in. If we can, also cut off Milan. Are you... These 12 divisions are defending there. Cool. And the Soviets are moving in slowly through the, from the south, which is great. As we are just kind of biding our time. Because we must prepare for the next conflict. Because we will have enemies still, pretty much, on almost all of our sides. Maybe except for our north, because, well... Our allies are in the north. Sweden, Norway, Denmark. We'll have to take out Spain, Yugoslavia, Italy once again, Bulgaria, and parts of Africa. So, it will be what it will be. That looks good. There's a ton of divisions down here. Oh, I should have sent my tanks down here, but that's okay. A Livorno, thank you. No, just come on down this way. That'll be good. Oh, they're attacking us over here. Very nice. Uh, what's my stockpile of super heavy tanks? I don't want these. I, I just don't want these. I could give them away, but I don't want to. I don't mind giving away some of those uh, light tanks, though, to France. 
698. 600, I mean, 89, 218. Uh, give you a thousand of these guys so far. That should help. And then we actually have a lot of your own tanks. Whoops. There you go. That should help not get you closer to us. But they've got quite a few ships, and I love it. Can I make any French divisions? No, I cannot. I really don't like that I can't use their divisions. I really don't like that. Let's get some more air superiority. Thank you. Because we are still dogfighting in the air against these enemies. If you guys could just, like, capitulate, that'd be great. What if I attack from here? 57, 58. Oh, nice. Oh, I went back down to 57. Nope, stop attacking. I don't want to waste manpower. Um, give me half. Can you attack into the mountains successfully if I give you more, um, planes, planes, planes? Ah, oh, the French divisions are here. I can always take their divisions and help hold the line if needed, so. Um, anything here? Nope. I could deploy naval bombers, but... I don't know. I could. Oh, let time go on. Oh, you're on standby. I wonder what you guys were doing earlier. Uh, let's spread the... Share the wealth of planes. Share the wealth. This might help kill off a few Italian ships. Maybe, maybe not. Ah, the fall of Rome! The Eternal City has fallen to advancing Soviet spearheads. As Italian forces fell back, though, Russian troops... Uh, fanned out into the city and dealt with the few remaining pockets of resistance. Most historical landmarks appear to have suffered little damage, although there are conflicting reports that the Pantheon was raked by machine gun fire. So far, Soviets appear to be respecting the neutrality of the Holy See, but their forces have positioned themselves in a ring around the Vatican City. A gesture that must be surely making His Holiness a little bit nervous. Beautiful. On France. For some reason, I was—I thought you were part of the Allies, but good job nonetheless. So, let's go ahead and pass, and I shall deal with this successfully. So, uh, Soviets, they will probably release Bulgaria as a puppet state, which I'm totally okay with. Um, actually, this is not going to be good, because I'm going to need to click this button a whole lot. So, um, Yugoslavia will get Zara. Come on. Uh, Sardinia will probably stay Italian. Sicily... Uh, we're going to divide up Italy quite a bit here. Alright, that should be good enough. Should be. There you go, Soviets. Next up. Wow, it's bad when even France has more war score than against them against the UK? What happened to the UK? They're not in this peace conference. The allies aren't here. Okay, well, whatever. Yugoslavia. You're going to get Istria. You're going to get Zara. And you know what? Just for funsies, you get Albania as well. And Soviets are going to get pretty much all of proper Italy. They'll turn them into a puppet, so. And if not, I'd be very surprised if they didn't. Even though we would actually really like Sud Tirol. In the end, we will probably do that. Cool. Come on. Actually, can they... They have to take all states. Come on, come on, come on. They're looking better, looking better. I could turn it into a supervised state. But that's okay. We don't really need to do that. Spain will, of course, get North Africa. So I think that should probably go to... Hispania. Or Espana. Come on. And there you are. You get all this worthwhile territory. However, I will, like, just using state transfer tools, I'm just going to give this to the UK. Um, Soviets, where are you? Lithuanian Independent SSR? No. I'll give them... Actually, you know what? I'm going to give that to the UK as well. I think they deserve that. Alright, Soviets. Alright, um, are there any more... T Just give that to me for now, and I'll give it to them. Cool. Awesome. Let's pause it real quick. Oh, no, that went to the Greeks. 
Um, actually, that's not a bad idea. I'll give it to you guys. Uh, France still owns that. We actually bombed an Italian convoy. Now, I don't really want this country. You guys can have it. Mark, transfer it to you guys. I will hold on to, though, Djibouti, just because. Why not? Uh, unless someone doesn't want me to. That's not too bad. We're still at war. Unfortunate. And, of course, you guys over here. Oh. Alright. We have a war goal against enemies. Most notably, just the common turn. There you go. I own a tiny bit of North Africa. But that, the common turn's looking pretty big. They're not a pushover. Oh, and Belgium still owns that. So, here's the battle plan. All of you guys, I love where you're at right now, but I'm going to think, I'm going to have to think about this a little bit. So, uh, you're facing the, these guys are facing the common turn. This is not going to be enough divisions to hold the entire front line against the Soviets. Not at all. You guys are over here in Prussia. You guys are my beautiful, beautiful tanks, and you guys are my army that fought against France. So, all of you guys are going to come... Realistically, I'm going to have to pull you off of here. Uh, at the current moment, I do not have enough divisions to uh, deal with the Yugoslavians, as well as the Italians when they get released, prob probably. Do something like that. Why? There was lag earlier. No, Djibouti isn't free. South Africa's still down there. Japan invaded India. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh. That doesn't look very good. We got some exile divisions in here. That's okay. So you guys will be... Italy slash you go you guys are the common turn you guys so you have, we have a border right there we need a border against Italy right here oh wait oh crap yeah don't want to do that actually even though we've got a ton of forts around here yeah you guys do that you guys are down here. And I need to raise another army up immediately because we will still have to defend against Spain. Ooh. If anything, France, I don't know why I can't make divisions off of your guys. I don't like it. I don't necessarily want to use Hungarian divisions either. I just need them to defend. Request forces. How many forces you got, Hungary? None. Okay. Good. <laughs> You got a lot of manpower. That's actually not bad. Let's, let's make some Hungarian divisions then. Oh, let's do that. Infantry template. It's not bad. Getting better. That's something I can work with. Six is a little bit too big for me. Copy that one. Before I do anything, Romania, how much manpower do you have? Uh, they have some. View that. That will template four, five. Five? Uh, copy the third one. Cool. Let's edit this to become just like what we want from ours. Save those boys. Good. Looks good enough to me. And we got plenty of army XP for this. Anyways, field hospitals, engineers, get rid of that anti-tank. For logistic companies, because I'm going to need a lot of you guys. Train. Three. And then... Train. Six. Good. Now, we are we are currently at peace, which is great. But artillery-wise, I'm going to have to duplicate this division. Normal Inf. Replace it with that. Because I want more soft attack. We just got about 35-ish more soft attack, which is fine with me. Begin converting some of these divisions to normal infantry. We will gain more manpower and infantry equipment back, which is good. Oh, look at those factories. Nice. Oh, we need division, divisions down here as well. Actually, I don't mind sending French divisions that way. I love the amount of ships that France currently has. The Spanish don't have that much. They have a lot of manpower, but... Oh, if we go to war now with them, we could probably smash the Spanish. Smash the Spanish. Government's in exile. Nation building in these guys. 
I need my political power though right now. I think. War propaganda propaganda against them. I always do Ech Raider. And just in case, let's get some more fuel for now. Good. Keep getting more and more and more fuel. Not bad. Uh, how much artillery are we out? Not not bad either. Panzer Shrek. Let's get some night vision ones. You guys will need to train probably maybe a little bit more. Even though you guys are looking pretty good. Uh, where are you guys? You're the Spanish. Spanish, Spanish, Spanish. That'll be good. Um, I could tell all of you to convert immediately. I'll, I'm going to do it by army, though. That makes it more sense. Infantry, yes, we need not that much more artillery. All of you guys train to become normal infantry. All of you guys become trained normal infantry. Uh, I'm going to stop there because I'm probably out of artillery at this point. Infantry expert, sounds good to me. You, Gunther von Klug. Nothing. And the deficit of artillery isn't terrible. It's not great. Not terrible, though. Keep training. You guys gotta keep training. And you guys keep training as well. Good. Good, 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 good. We're doing well. And we got more rubber. Nice. It's 1944, of course. Uh, rocketry isn't bad to do. We got other things we could do, though. Planes, for example. A little bit important. Just a little bit. And the Soviet Union really likes to hold on to these countries without changing the or releasing puppets. Which, between this episode and the next, which is something I will do. Siam, please do not cancel your non-aggression pact. Please. That won't benefit anyone. And instead, just end up killing more people off. Uh, but the Japanese are at war with the Americans. So, um... Are you doing damage to those cruisers? Guys? No, that's just losing... They're losing organization, but... Oh, if you could sink some of these enemy heavy ships, that'd be so cool. Oh, you lost an American sub. Gonna make it two? Oh, that we made it two. Or we didn't make it two, but we're watching. Ooh, losses in the Pacific. Ooh, more divisions. I love it. Good, because I need divisions against Italy. Um... You guys are there, which is fine. I'm going to actually keep you guys under someone else here, which is good. We are going to do a Von Bock, but unfortunately, that is all that we, all the time that we have for today, my friends. So, and tomorrow, we're most likely going to be in a war with the Comintern, which will be quite interesting to see what happen so anyways guys hope you enjoyed this episode if you did leave a like maybe subscribe if you're new check out my discord link below and i will see you all tomorrow as this very cold war between me and the common turn heats up thanks for watching and have a great great day